Hey guys, this is Radio again with a, another exciting episode of how to use Procaster. Um, this tutorial is going to go into the preferences and the use of them. Um, you can see there are two ways to get to the preferences. There is this little preferences button right here, or there's this up here, which um, out of just pure habit I always use. They go to the same fucking place. Just click one. Um, it takes a second to come up with your settings, but uh, then it comes up with this. So, this is the live stream tab of the preferences. Um, this controls what happens when you click the go live button. If you uh, live means it's going to go live, automatically start broadcasting on the channel that you have selected. So, if you uncheck live, you can click the go live button the big red button on the main Procaster, and your session will show up in studio, and someone else can cue it and switch between your session and another session, but it will not be automatically viewed by all the viewers of your channel. Um, the You're typically going to want to leave the live check mark checked. Um, the on-demand button is automatically add recordings to on-demand library, um, that's pretty straightforward. What this does is if you record with this button checked, um, your recordings will automatically go to the on-demand library without being named or anything. It's really obnoxious. Um, as a standard, we do not automatically add things to the uh, on-demand library. Again, if it's your channel, uh, do whatever the fuck you want. Autopilot is much the same as On Demand. It automatically adds the recording to the Autopilot. Um, again, not something we do. We want to pick and choose good clips to put into the Autopilot, so uh, you're going to want to leave that unchecked. Auto Record, uh, can you can choose to not record your sessions to the server at all. So if you have Auto Record unchecked, but you have Live checked, your session will go live, but it will never be viewable again. It's just the one live instant instance. Sorry. <clears throat> and mobile stream, I haven't really tested with all that much. Um, you have to change the video quality to go to do a mobile stream. And uh, there's no way to view old videos mobily as I understand it. So um, mobile stream is strictly for if you want to do a live session where you want people to be able to view it live on their phones. Um, and then after that session, I mean, it's not going to matter if it was a mobile stream or not. They won't be able to view it on their phones anymore. It'll just be a normal recording. Um, there's no harm in having that checked, uh, except for you have to have uh, H.264 H uh, video quality as opposed to whatever they do, v, VB pop or whatever. Um, that's that. So uh, hope this was a little bit helpful. The settings that you're going to want to go for are live and auto record. That way your recording will go to the server and you will go live when you hit live. But it will not be added to on demand or autopilot automatically. That is at your discretion at a later point. Um, thanks for watching. Hope this helped.